Okay, so 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 the, the uh, so this model is E Q two, you can see from here, right? And uh, this one is the ninety five percent confidence uh, interval of this variable, right? Of this our model E this comes here, right? And here, what is our root mean squared error value? So uh, we can see from here directly. Okay what I do I write all the things here okay so these are the value for EQ1 right now what about EQ2 so for EQ2 RMS error is how much 5.21 then u what is u tail inequality coefficient how much it is 0 0.2372 sorry and then the bias proportion which is one aspect of tail inequality coefficient is how much 0 0.57 Four four, meaning that fifty seven point four four percent. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, now uh, we can compare between these two model, right? We can compare between these two model. Okay. Okay. For case of EQ one, what is our value of root mean squared error? 3.69 and for case of EQ2 root mean square error is 5.21 meaning that uh, meaning that EQ1 is is a better forecasted model because the error is smaller than than 5.21 okay then second one we can compare for case of eq1 how much is the u 0 0.1600 and here u is 0 0.2372 so here u eq1 uh, the model is a better model than eq2 because u is smaller than uh, the uh, u is smaller than 0 0.2372 okay then i check about the last one the bias bias uh, proportion in case of bias proportion for case of eq1 the bias is 54.87% and here the bias is 57.44 percent meaning that the bias in EQ1 is smaller than bias in EQ2 so here our decision is EQ1 has a better predictive power than eq2 okay now 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 the whole thing we can see physically by drawing a graph that that we want to see now 